hello there. Well, I'm delighted to be here in the library at Belvedere International School uh, to share with you a book. And reading is very important, uh, particularly at the moment, as many of you are studying at home with distance learning. Reading books is actually a really important thing to do. And it's something you should do every day, you should, to read. And in the library here, we've got lots of lovely books, and I've chosen one, which is this. It's called Mad in the Back. And you can see the cover there. You should always look when you choose a new book. Look at the cover, look at the back as well. And on, the, on books, you have a little section uh, called Blurb. And this is like a, a small version of the story uh, that you can read about. And this reminds me of many car journeys, and you'll see why. So I hope you enjoy it. And this is by Michael Rosen, uh, Michael Rosen and Richard Watson. Okay, mad in the back. Here we go. Always like opening a new book and the fresh pages and the smell of the book. You can't see that, but uh, I'll smell it. But if you get a book, you can uh, from the library. You can enjoy this as well. So we're starting off in a car. Can you see that? A lovely red car there. Mum says, right you two, this is a very long car journey. I want you two to be good. I'm driving and I can't drive properly if you two are going mad in the back. Do you understand? So we say, okay mum, okay, don't worry. And off we go. So they're setting off on their car journey. Can you see that? And we start the moaning. I wonder if you moan when you're in the car. People say, are we there yet? Can I have a drink? I want some crisps. Can I open my window? Can you see? I wonder how mum feels when she hears these moans. She doesn't look very happy, does she? He's got my book. Get off me. Ow, that's my ear. Oh dear. Can you see? I think they're fighting now in the back of the car. Do you do that? Are you good in the car, in the back of the car? What are you like? I wonder what you would say and what your mother and father might say as well. It might be a different story. What do you think? And mum tries to be exciting. Look out the window. There's a, a lamppost. And they're looking. Can you see? I don't think they're that interested. Do you think so? Can you see that picture? And we go on with the moaning. Can I have a sweet? He's sitting on me. Are we nearly there? That's a classic one. Are we nearly there yet? Don't scratch. You never tell him off. Now he's biting his nails. Oh dear. Lots of things going on in the back of the car. They didn't listen to their mother, did they? I want a drink. I want a drink. More fighting going on in the back of the car. Oh dear. And mum tries to be exciting again. Look out the window. There's a tree. And we go on. My hands are sticky. He's playing with the door handle now. I feel sick. Your nose is all runny. Don't pull my hair. Oh dear, they're doing everything wrong, aren't they? In the back. They're being so naughty. They haven't sat well. They haven't listened to their mother. What a terrible journey for the mum. He's punching me, mum. That's really dangerous, you know. Mum, he's spitting. 
Oh dear, look at mum's face now. She looks very cross, doesn't she? Very angry. Oh dear. And those two have not behaved. And mum says, Right, I'm stopping the car. She stops the car. You two don't stop it. I'm going to put you out of the car and leave you by the side of the road. She started it. I didn't. He started it. I don't care who started it. I can't drive properly if you two go mad in the back. Do you understand? And we say, Okay, Mum. Okay, don't worry. We understand. Can I have a drink? Oh, did they listen? I don't think so. It's continuing, isn't it? Look at Mum now. She's had enough. This reminds me of some car journeys. I think these are the stripes on the road. Poor mum. Is your car journey like that? And in fact, here, if you get this book, or you get it out of the library, you can see at the back there's a puzzle. You have to help mum to get home through the maze. So, that was Mad in the Back. I hope you've enjoyed that story. And if you want to look for this, you can look for it online. Maybe your mum and dad can help you to buy it if you'd like to read it. And uh, it's really nice. It's got some lovely pictures. And I thought it's a very good story as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you very much for listening to Storytime today. Thank you all.